Hi everybody, this is Jessica Chobot, and on this episode of Player vs. Gamer, we are hanging out in Hollywood, California with Golden State Warriors Harrison Barnes to see just how much of a gamer he really is and if his skills on the basketball court can translate to the virtual hardwood as he takes on LA point guard Kendall Marshall in NBA 2K14. This is the only show where gaming and sports come head to head. GameSpot presents Player vs. Gamer. Meet our player. Harrison Barnes is a small forward with Golden State Warriors. He attended the University of North Carolina where he was one of the top rated basketball players in the recruiting class of 2010. Sometimes known by the nickname Black Falcon, the NBA named Barnes to the 2012-2013 All-Rookie First Team. Now before Harrison takes on NBA 2K14 on Microsoft's Xbox One, I thought I'd find out a little bit more about the Warriors player and get a free basketball lesson in the process. So what's it like playing for the Warriors? Playing for the Warriors is great. Yeah. I mean, we have, uh, you know, we played an exciting style. You know, we have, you know, when I first, first came to the team, um, not a lot of people knew about Stephen Curry, and now he's, you know, you know, a top five, top ten player in the league right now, playing with such guys that are, you know, humble and fun to be around. Now, if you're playing a two-on-two -two game, who would you choose? Any video game character out there, who would you choose to team up with? Not just basketball, do you mean just anyone? Anybody, any video game character. Probably be Link from uh, Super yeah. Smash Brothers and then obviously Zelda. Ooh, why specifically Link? Who is, FYI, one of my favorite characters? <laughs> um, he's just one of my you know, favorite characters obviously growing up. Um, Super Smash Brothers is one of my favorite games, so he was a character I'd always go to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'd be the first night team over two and two. Fantastic, I'm very happy that that's who you chose. It, makes, <laughs> it puts a smile on my face, uh, he's such a good character. Are there any tips for how to hold the basketball, or is it kind of just you just hold the basketball? Right hand on the ball. Uh huh. On the top, left on the side. Okay. And shoot like that. And you shoot like that. All right. Hey, yeah! I did there it! We go. Oh my gosh! Yes! Nice, nice. Thank you. <gasps> yes! You did it! That's awesome! Congratulations! I know. Thank you. So now that we got a peek of Harrison's skills on the basketball court, it's time to take over for the ultimate showdown on Microsoft's Xbox One. Of course, the game of choice, NBA 2K14. The latest installment in the NBA's number one video game franchise, 2K14 delivers an unprecedented level of realism. Incredible visuals that add to your emotional investment, action flows just like the real game, and ramped up defensive intensity forces you to smartly plan your offense. Before Harrison drives a lane on the virtual court, it's time to check in with Chris Waters for more information on NBA 2K14. Hey there, Jessica. These days, NBA 2K14 is the reigning champion of video game basketball. One look at the game in action, and you'll see what I mean, because it looks incredible. The level of detail in the players is astounding, from the looks on their faces to the way they play. The animations are so realistic that whenever I see a coworker playing the game, it actually takes me a second to realize it's actually the game and not a live broadcast of the NBA. And it's not just looks. The ebb and flow of each game, the way players adapt as the action unfolds, it all leads to the heightened sense that you are part of the game. The dramatic victories, the crushing defeats. Virtual basketball has never been as exciting as it is in NBA 2K14 for the Xbox One. Starting off as a rookie, working your way up through the league, making a name for yourself, and taking a shot at the championship? It's an absolute blast, but that's not what's in store for you guys. I have a feeling this contest is going to be one of the most heated yet. Good luck, Jessica. Thanks, Chris. Now, before we have tip-off, I wanted to sit down with Harrison and get a little bit more information about your video game prowess. So, yeah, video games, what do you play? I, I play a lot of different games, mm -hmm. from obviously, you know, NBA 2K to, you know, Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, Borderlands 2, so I try to I try to mix it up a little bit. What is your earliest memory of video game? Like, what system was the first system you ever had? Ooh, probably Sega Genesis. Whoa, you <laughs> uh, went straight for Genesis, not Nintendo. Nintendo is usually the default. I'm very impressed. No, I remember I had a Sega Genesis a long, long time ago. Thinking back to it, it was terrible quality, but, you know, at the time, it was just, I, you know, I loved having a video game. Are you really big into the NBA 2K franchise at all? Is it like a kind of a staple that you play? It's always a staple that I play. I mean, it's, it's the game that I'll, I'll know more than any of the rest of them, no matter how much I ever play. And, you know, it's something that and I think, you know, most basketball players play. Well, so I was going to say, does it make it, obviously, your background being a basketball player, does it make it easier to pick up when you play a game like that? Or do you notice kind of the things that are slightly off, like kind of lost in translation from real life to, like, the video game world? 
It's actually, it's it's come a long way. I remember when I very first started playing, I noticed there was like, you know, huge discrepancies, you know, mm -hmm. you know the all-stars, you know, could just, you know, pretty much dunk from the free throw line and always got the foul, always made their shots. And, you know, they've changed up so much, you know, with the graphics and, you know, how, it, you know, the controls feel. So it's, it's been really good. The graphics, I'm really glad you brought that up because the graphics are so on point and they get better and better with new iteration of system that comes out. So is it weird seeing people you know on screen and they look so realistic? Is that do you have that kind of uncanny valley situation happen to you? You're like, whoa, this makes me awkward. <laughs> yeah, it honestly it, it never gets old. I mean, just anytime you're playing, especially on you know next gen, mm -hmm. comparing it to you know the old version. Yeah. I mean, it's it's like daylight and darkness. I mean, just seeing how you know real guys look, mm -hmm. you know how you know from team to team. I mean, there's just no. There's no discrepancy. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Now, who's your default team that you always go to to play in something like NBA 2K? Well, before they blew the team up, it was the Bulls. So with all the players healthy, uh, I, was, I was pretty much unstoppable with them. But, you know, injuries happen. In fact, at the end of the game, trade. So I, I'm, I'm on the search for a new team. How do you choose? How do you decide who you want to pick? Um, it has to be, you know, just a well-balanced team. I mean, obviously, default, I can go with the Warriors, but it's, it's kind of weird, you know, playing as you know, the team you always play on. Yeah. You know, so and I try to just mix it up. You know, right now, I like the Pacers a lot, you know, balanced team. Now, you specifically chose Kendall to go up against. Why did you choose that? Well, Kendall was my roommate, obviously, at North Carolina, and uh -huh. we've been playing video games ever since, you know, I went to college, whether it was, you know, Super Smash Brothers Melee, or whether it was, you know, the newest 2K, or whether it was, you know, Madden, whatever it was, I mean, we, we've always played video games. Stay tuned for more Player vs. Gamer after this break. It's time to meet our gamer, none other than LA Lakers, Kendall Marshall. Yay! How Hi, Kendall. Doing? Hello. Thanks for Hello. joining us. Uh, thanks for having me. So, you guys, you and Harrison actually go way, way back. Tell me a little bit of how, about how you first met. Uh, well, we first met, uh, I think it was in a basketball camp when we were in high school, probably going into our junior year. And um, ended up, we ended up going to the same college. What is your experience as far as being a video gamer? Hence the fact that you are a gamer. I assume that you have quite a repertoire of video games. Um, you know, I, I really didn't get big into video games mm -hmm. until um, college, really. You know, I played a little bit in, a, in high school and elementary with, when my uncles came over, but mostly it was, uh, it was around my teammates in college. Okay, and so did you guys ever play against each other? Uh, or will this be the first time? Uh, this might be the first time, I don't know. We uh, Sometimes we're on the same team when we play like Call of Duty and stuff, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, I, I stayed away from the 2K battles. Oh, you did? Why? I would think that that would be something you would gravitate to. Uh, I was a big Mortal Kombat kid growing up. Oh, so. okay, gotcha. So fighting games are more Yeah, I'm a, just Mortal Kombat. I'm kind of just obsessed Mortal with Kombat. it. Just Mortal Kombat? Oh, Why? zombies, come on, man. Oh, yeah, zombies. Okay, so you're, you prefer to go with like waves of enemies, not necessarily like online multiplayer. All right, well, so then, Knowing that you have shied away from the 2K series, how do you think you're going to do up against Harrison today? I don't know. I might be a little rusty, and, but you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. So you, Harrison, have actually handpicked Kendall specifically for this. So what makes him the perfect opponent for you? Honestly, just contrasting styles. I uh -huh. know that you know when we go and play 2K. I know Kendall's going to play you know you know very you know team-oriented game, you know, you can get guys involved, you know, make the extra pass. You know, me, I just, I get it to my star players and they got to go get me a bucket. That, that's what it also <laughs> boils down to on my team. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. So, do you have any strategy going into this game? Uh, a little bit, you know, uh, you know, I'm, I've been thinking a lot about what team I want to use, you know, a team with a lot of shooters, mm -hmm. you know, so I can highlight what I do well and uh, get guys involved, so uh, I think I think I can uh, get it done today. All right, guys, this is how it's going to go down. We're going to do traditional five on five, six minute quarters, team of your choice. And here's a quick look at the player versus gamer scoreboard. The gamers lead the series against our players two to one. You ready? Ready. Ready? Let's do it. You smiling? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, good. Let's go. Feeling good about 2K today? You ready to take this L? No, no, I feel like uh, you know we got a, we got a legit shot. Let's see what happens. Uh, I think I'm gonna rock with Denver. Yeah, let me see. I think I'm gonna go with Pacers. Let George, uh, George Hill lock that up. We are 
live in Denver, Colorado, the hometown for the Nuggets for an Eastern versus Western Conference matchup right here. Uh huh. Let's go, Ty. Early. For three, Hill. No good. Oh, let's go. Fournier, Randy Foy is on the way. Dunk him. Wow. It's gonna be over early, man. And it's Miller penetrating. Oh, that has been blocked. Good boy, score. Pacers trail by four. Yeah. Oh, hold that with the left. Who's that? Tia Watson. Nice in this game. Here is Watson. Watson defending. Get out of here. Ooh, oh, I told he's you. Not Too nice. that. He's not finishing that. He's not finishing that, man. Beach to George. And, and two oh. throws coming up as he misses that one. He's gotta get a sub, man. Just get Nate Robinson in there. You know he'll make something happen. Yes, sir. <sighs> Started out 8 0. Came back. You did. Lawson with the drive. Hey. Excellent D there from Watson. Oh. Harrison Barnes got off to a slow start at the beginning of the first quarter, but he rallied back to keep the game close at 17 to 18. Looks like it's going to be a good game. And it's the Pacers with the ball. They trail by one. Now here's Stevenson. No and way. one. Ah. Come on, Lance. Not even close. After the miss from Stevenson, here's Fournier. Hits the three-point bomb. Now here is Robinson. George Hill missing his last shot. Oh, cherry picking? Oh. That's your game. You gonna leave him open? Oh. Oh, he doesn't chase him. Wow. Let's go, Nate. That's the spark off the we needed. A minute 20 left in the first half. Oh! One shot. Time, come get it. You wet, you wet. Get it. Ah! Oh! Lawson right side with one on the clock. And again, Let's go! Let's go, Evan. That's the way you finish out ahead. It's halftime, and while Harrison kept the fight strong, Kendall managed to stay ahead and start the second half up seven points. Let's see if Harrison can turn the tables. Killing you on the boards. We just can't even rebound. I mean, that, that was ridiculous, dude. Wow, you didn't hit him? Come on, you got to rebound. Hey, right, get that out of here. The Pacers have missed a few free throws up to this point, shooting 4-7 from the foul line tonight. Ah, good free throw, Roy. Now we're going to go down here and score. Gosh, we just have no turbo. Or hit a three. No foul? And one. Take a charge. Oh, he yes, sir. Again. Good take, Ty. Oh, here is Robinson. It's stolen by Watson. Five seconds. Come on, Lance. Give me some, Lance. Oh, let's go. Thank goodness I did not get blocked. Now, Robinson. Oh my Inside. God! Come on, oh, man! Oh, we can't get the ball off the court. Thanks to Watson, and here's the whistle on the shot. Oh my gosh! Come on, man! Oh foul! Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. Fouls and missed baskets leave Kendall's Nuggets with a comfortable lead. Can Harrison pull it together for the upset? Going well as we head to the fourth. All I gotta do is take care of the ball. Give him points on weekends. Oh, wrong person. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Good shot, boy. Glitch. Good shot. Watson, the vast of scope. Come on, give me one! I said, he ain't gonna make all of these, man. He ain't gonna make all of these now. Offensive rebound, and Fareed kicks to four. Oh! Let's <laughs> go! That's unbelievable. Put them threes down there. Two people there. Oh! Are you serious? Let's go! And one. Oh, my. I made the second one. Oh, you're supposed to pad your stats. Make those. 
What? Oh my. Go ahead. Hit it, Wilson. <sighs> and that's game. We have time to play another half? <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Congratulations to our gamer. A round of applause for Kendall, everybody. Yay, good game, sir, good game. I appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. Harrison, I'm sorry, but I thought you were gonna turn around there in the third and fourth quarter, so what happened? I was hurt, you know? Starting point guard didn't give me anything to do. Oh. I'm not gonna get into that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, well, good game, guys. Good game all around. Congratulations. All right, folks at home, looks like our gamers are still in the lead, but who's gonna take it next time? Find out on the next Player vs. Gamer.